you're tired of random stutters, input delays, or inconsistent FPS ruining your CS2 matches, this is the only guide you need. Today, we're diving deep into full system optimization, step by step, to unlock the maximum performance your PC can deliver. Whether you're on a budget setup or a mid-range PC, every tweak in this video is tested and designed to give you smoother gameplay, higher FPS, and zero distractions while you play. Please take a second to hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel grow and keeps you updated with more CS2 optimization tips. The Gear Up Booster application is a powerful tool designed to help you achieve zero ping and maximum FPS. Download the application for free using the provided link in the description. Select the CS2 game and click the boost button. This will initiate the network optimization process, selecting the best routing settings for you automatically. Download it now. In the first step, open the NVIDIA control panel. Look over to the left-hand sidebar and click on Manage 3D Settings. This section controls how your GPU behaves across all applications, especially games. Inside this menu, find the option called Power Management Mode. If it's currently set to Optimal Power or Adaptive, your GPU is likely underperforming during heavy gameplay sessions. These default modes are designed to save power by lowering GPU performance when it's not needed. But in competitive games like CS2, that throttling can cause unexpected frame drops change it to prefer maximum performance. This setting ensures your GPU stays at its highest clock speeds while you're gaming, providing stable frame rates and eliminating those annoying dips that ruin your experience. Now scroll further down until you see texture filtering quality. Set this to high performance. What this does is tell your GPU to prioritize rendering speed over unnecessary graphical polish. In a fast-paced shooter like CS2, visual detail takes a backseat to raw performance, and the difference in image quality is barely noticeable. But the performance uplift is real. It lowers the workload on your GPU, which helps reduce stuttering and keeps your gameplay smooth, especially in chaotic firefights. Open the Start menu, type Advanced System Settings, and click on the result that appears. In the System Properties window that pops up, switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Performance section, click on Settings. This will open a new window called Performance Options. Inside this window, go to the Advanced tab and look for the Processor Scheduling section. Make sure it's set to Programs instead of Background Services. This ensures your system prioritizes CS2 and other foreground apps for better real-time performance during gameplay. Next, let's adjust the virtual memory. Under the same tab, click on the Change button inside the Virtual Memory section. In the new window, uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Then select your main system drive, usually the C colon drive, and choose Custom Size. Now, Set the initial size to 1,361 megabytes. For the maximum size, you'll need to calculate it based on your system's RAM. First, check how much RAM you have by searching System Information in the Start menu and finding the installed physical memory, RAM value. For example, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, multiply that by 1,024 to get 16,380 megabytes and then divide that by 2, which gives you 8192 megabytes. Enter both the initial and maximum values into their respective fields. Then click Set and hit Apply. Customizing your virtual memory like this helps prevent memory overflow and gives your system a stable backup for demanding games. After applying this tweak, you'll notice fewer crashes, faster loading, and more consistent performance especially when multitasking or running heavy games like CS2. Now guys, press Windows plus X on your keyboard and select Device Manager from the menu that appears. Once the window opens, expand the section labeled Network Adapters. Here, find your currently active connection. Whether that's your Ethernet adapter or Wi-Fi card, depending on what you're using. Right-click on the active adapter and select Properties. 
A new window will open. Navigate to the Advanced tab. This is where you'll find various configuration options that control how your network hardware processes data. Now, carefully scroll through the list and locate the following two entries. TCP checksum offload, IPv4 or IPv6. Large send offload, LSO. Select each of them one by one and on the right hand side, change their values to disabled. What this does is shift the responsibility of handling network data from your adapter's built-in firmware to your actual system processor. In many cases, these offload features introduce latency and delays. Not ideal for a fast-paced, reaction-based game like CS2. Disabling them gives you tighter control, lower ping spikes, and a more responsive experience. Once both are disabled, click OK to apply the changes. Your network might flicker for a moment as the settings take effect, but that's completely normal. After this tweak, your connection will feel snappier, with reduced lag, fewer random desyncs, and better hit registration, especially during intense online matches. The Gear Up Booster application is a powerful tool designed to help you achieve zero ping and maximum FPS. Download the application for free using the provided link in the description. Select the CS2 game and click the boost button. This will initiate the network optimization process, selecting the best routing settings for you automatically. Download it now. Open the Windows search bar, type power, and click on choose a power plan. In this menu, switch your current plan to high performance or ultimate performance if you see it available. These plans are built to prioritize raw performance over energy savings which allows your hardware to run at its full potential without unnecessary limitations. Once you've selected the performance-based power plan, click Change Plan Settings next to it. Then click on Change Advanced Power Settings. This opens a detailed configuration window. Now, scroll down and expand the PCI Express section. Under it, you'll find Link State Power Management. Set this option to Off. This setting disables a power saving feature that can cause your GPU or CPU to scale down performance during gameplay, which often results in random FPS drops or input delay. Now, expand the section called Processor Power Management. Here, set both the minimum processor state and the maximum processor state to 100%. This forces your CPU to stay at full speed at all times instead of lowering its clock speed during lighter tasks. By doing this, you avoid power throttling and ensure smoother, more consistent performance throughout your CS2 matches. Once all these settings are adjusted, click Apply and then OK to save your changes. This tweak helps your CPU stay fully active and responsive during gameplay, eliminating stutters, boosting FPS and giving you the edge in intense matches. Now. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type Temp and hit Enter. This will take you to a folder filled with temporary system files that are no longer needed. Once you're inside, press Ctrl plus A to select everything and then hit Delete to remove it. If a few files can't be deleted because they're in use, just skip those. They're harmless. This simple step frees up disk space and clears out clutter that can interfere with smooth background processes, especially useful if your system drive is getting full. Now press Windows plus R again to reopen the run box, but this time type percent temp percent and press enter. You'll be taken to another directory containing user-specific temporary files. Just like before, press Ctrl plus A to select all and hit delete. Again, don't worry if some files refuse to go. That's perfectly normal and nothing to stress over. Doing this cleanup regularly keeps your system lightweight, reduces background resource usage, and helps CS2 boot faster and run with fewer random slowdowns. Open your start menu and type defrag in the search bar. Click on defragment and optimize drives from the results. This will open a utility that displays all the storage drives currently connected to your PC, whether SSDs or HDDs. 
Now find the drive where CS2 is installed, preferably on an SSD for the best possible experience, and click on Analyze. For HDDs, this step checks for fragmented files, which can slow down asset loading and cause hiccups during gameplay. For SSDs, it scans for optimization tasks like trimming or block alignment, which help maintain read-write efficiency and responsiveness. Once the analysis completes, if the tool recommends optimization, go ahead and click the Optimize button. For SSDs, this is a quick and safe operation that improves how your system manages data storage. For traditional hard drives, the process may take longer depending on how fragmented the drive is, but it's worth the time. Optimizing your drive this way can noticeably improve map load times, reduce texture glitches, and prevent unexpected stutters during matches. You can even minimize or close the window once the process starts. It will continue running silently in the background. Make it a habit to optimize your drives regularly to keep CS2 and your whole system performing at its best. Now launch CS2 and head into the settings menu to apply the final optimizations. First, make sure your refresh rate is set to the highest value supported by your monitor. This setting ensures your screen is displaying as many frames as your system can deliver, which directly improves the fluidity and responsiveness of the game. Next, jump over to the Advanced Video tab and begin adjusting settings based on your system's performance. Let's talk about shadows. While they provide a gameplay advantage by showing enemy silhouettes, they're also heavy on GPU usage. If your PC is struggling, set shadows to low, sun only, to lighten the load. However, if you have a decent GPU and want the full visual cues, setting them to high and all is the better choice for awareness. Now, locate NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. This setting plays a major role in reducing input delay. If you're on a low-end system, it's safest to disable it. If your setup is balanced, a mid-tier CPU and GPU, set it to Enabled. And if you're dealing with a weak CPU but strong GPU, choose Enable Plus Boost to offload more work onto the GPU and reduce CPU bottlenecking. Move on to the Game tab and scroll until you find the buffering setting. This controls how the game handles packet loss. According to Valve developer Futcher, the best choice for low latency is none. If you're experiencing occasional network issues, try one packet. Only switch to two packets if you're constantly dealing with heavy lag or jitter. Finally, scroll to the setting for animated avatars and switch it to no. These animations eat up GPU cycles in the background and can slightly affect your performance, especially on lower-end systems. After making all these changes, hit Apply, then restart the game to ensure every tweak is properly loaded. You'll immediately notice improved frame stability, lower input lag, and a more responsive CS2 experience. So guys, that wraps up today's video. If this helped improve your CS2 performance, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more powerful optimization guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and goodbye.